subscribe now. EU debates. During this session, we are discussing uh, this report on the persecution of religious minority in the world. It's a very wide topic and it's also difficult to summarize it in one document. When we were working on the text, I wanted to show a full picture of the situation in various continents, a, c a certain map of problems for different uh, religions or atheists. I needed to use a certain methodology. I needed to uh, grade the problems and I needed to see which religions are mostly attacked uh, and the countries in which these uh, events are the most frequent. And after analyzing many documents, I think uh, I was able to do so. It turns out, what is probably not surprising, that the most uh, a persecuted religious group are Christians, then Muslims, and then Jews. The first one have been prosecuted in as many as 145 countries, and for example, atheists have been repressed in persecuted in 18 countries. I'm talking about this because this information was not included in the uh, final par uh, form of the report. I don't know if it was because of political correctness or what was it, but uh, in the report most uh, uh, political groups did not want to mention any minorities or countries where the persecution is taking place. And it has been a standard right now when it comes to documents including uh, reports on human rights where for many years we have not been talking about concrete countries and I think it weakens our position. However, the report which we were able to negotiate still has many important points. It uh, comprehensively lists forms of persecution. It points to a difficult situation of women in many countries. And it also stresses out that all uh, persecution should meet with a decisive reaction of the country itself and international uh, community. It talks about uh, the uh, religious sites and uh, religious uh, uh, artifacts. Uh, we are also uh, giving very concrete proposals for the EU institutions on how to react on uh, persecutions and infringements of rights, uh, including uh, cooperation with uh, churches, uh, religious groups and human rights defenders. What is also important is uh, um, the recommendations which uh, should be uh, periodically assessed and uh, updated uh, in cooperation with all these groups. Religious, uh, religious based persecution should also be a part of country strategies of the EU and our delegations should pay attention to these issues. To sum up, I think this uh, report uh, fulfills its role. It should point uh, the attention of uh, public uh, opinion and EU institution on the persecutions of uh, religious groups, atheists and the attacks uh, that is directed at them in many places in the world. I regret that we could not be more precise and concrete showing uh, particular countries, particular regions, even though in many places in the report uh, reading from the context, you may realize what I'm talking about. I know that uh, several um, um, articles, uh, some MEPs wanted to vote separately. There are also some amendments. Uh, I think uh, that uh, you may support them. I would advise you to support these amendments. And I also want to help uh, to thank uh, all the shadow uh, reporters. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, thank you, Mr. Karski. Uh, 